Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Ultima. Last time we defended Fabul from the forces of the Red Wings, then Leviathan attacked our ship on the way to Baron, and we washed up in Mycidia, where we were told to become Palatin to overcome our Heart of Darkness, and also Palum and Purim joined us. They are the reason why I purchased the Bucklers back in Fabul, so definitely go ahead and equip both of them uh, with those for the extra defense boost, they really need it with only 100 and 110 HP. We currently already have an Ice Rod as well as a Thunder Rod, but we do not have a Flame Rod, so let's go ahead and purchase one here. If you want to, you could give the twins um, a Longbow with some arrows. We should already have plenty of Longbows. Rosa had one, and I think you would got one in a treasure chest. So if you want to go that route and have them just sling punishment from afar with arrows, hey, have at it. I would suggest, though, buying fire arrows, because just about everything that we are going to be um, fighting in the upcoming dungeon is going to be weak against fire. If not fire, then holy. But we don't have access to holy arrows. But we do have access to mage hats and Gaia gears, as well as silver gauntlets there. Um, nobody can equip this stuff here, though, so, yeah, we'll hold off on this till later. You could buy it now to be prepared for later, but I'm not going to. I don't think it's all that necessary, so I wouldn't worry about it. But I will worry about go ahead and equipping them with this stuff here. Let's see. Get that Gaia gear going on there. Yeah, the mage hat increases their, um their stats, their, their magical stats, which is really nice. The silver makes them, um, I want to say it defends against the spirit, which is nice, and it also, one of these things, makes you immune to stone, which is always very, very nice to have. Let me see it as I equip this stuff, if I can figure out what actually gives what immunities. Yeah, okay, nothing from the mage hat. Let's see, the Gaia gear. Okay, so the Gaia gear gives you the immunity against the stone. Let's see what the silver ring does. Okay, this one gives you the defense against the spirits, so that's kind of nice. Um, and I do want to go ahead and give him that flame rod right there. Awesome. And you know what? I probably should have went... I should have stayed in here because I need to sell some stuff. Uh, let's see. Still have that one buckler. I still want it. The arrows are fine. The whip. You know what? I should probably deposit all this junk inside the, um, inside the fat chocobo. But I can go ahead and sell this plumed hat and the leather stuff, it's no good. The iron rings are also no good as well. I am curious about the barrette. I'm wondering if Cecil can equip that. Oh, he can. Hey. Oh, wow. That's really nice for Cecil. Yeah, raising all that up by five and then, uh, yeah, raising his attack up from 70 to 72. Yes, please. So we'll keep the barrette on him as well and we will sell the um the black helmet it's not necessary okay so with all that being said and done let's get the hell out of my city with these people who hate our guts and move on to become a paladin you can pretty much one shot everything around here with dark it is just so good i cannot overstate how good dark is it's just amazing Oh, here we have a new enemy, the Zoo. Uh, let's see. So, some new things. Oh, wow. Okay, I was gonna go over some new stuff, but it got dispatched. So, the Deathbringer's instant death got... rotten. <laughs> so, that's pretty nice. Let's see, let's talk along that fast movement. And, oh, there's some more shoals down here. Huh. How unusual. Okay, here we have another chunk of a forest. Oh, a dancing dagger! Rahahahili! <laughs> I wonder if Porum can equip this. That'd be kind of nice. No, unfortunately she can't. I betcha, you, betcha, you, betcha you that Palum can equip the Dancing Dagger. Uh, yeah. So I could give it to him, but the Flame Rod is probably better as far as his magical... Yeah, it's gonna keep his magical ability up. And again, you can use it as a fire-based attack um, against the enemies in the place that we're heading to. So I do want to hold on to that. Let's go ahead and make sure everybody's all healed up. And then we can talk to a white chocobo. Get over here. Get over here. Doinks. Get over here. No, no. That's what I want. 
man, that shouldn't have been, <laughs> it shouldn't have been that hard. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's summon this uh, fat chugabo here. And let's see what I want to give it. Um, at this point, let's give it this stuff. I don't need all this junk. Um, that dancing dagger. Hmm. We'll hold on to that for just in case. Uh, the buckler will hold on to. And let's see what I want to take. I do want to take... You know what? No one can equip that yet, but I'll take it. Um, what else do I want to take? Let's go ahead and take the hand axe as well. Anything else? I think I am good. Okay. I like how the carrots are, like, you can use them as many times as you want to. That's really nice. You don't have to worry about your supply of carrots. So using the, um, the fat chocobo is much more, it's, it's, it's a much nicer thing to do. It's just easier in this version, I guess. Let's see if dark goes through on these guys. I kind of doubt it, but we can go ahead and give it a shot. But hey, awesome! Man, are Polymoporum ever going to get to shine, or am I just going to dark everything? I should probably try some of these items in battle and see what they actually do. Oh. Yeah, you do have the ice spell, don't you? Hope so. Why there's fire on a mountain like this is odd to me. What is this, the devil came down to Georgia? I actually don't mind that song. I kind of like it. Yeah. We didn't have to go through any kind of tra childhood trauma or anything. We shall. Let's be on our way. What's going on? Meanwhile, it's Golbez, Kane, and Rosa, and she's kidnapped. Oh no. If you're wondering about the names of some of these things, like, if let, let's say you've never played the original version of Final Fantasy II, you've only played, like, the remake or the, or the advanced version on the Game Boy Advance or whatever. Millen was originally the name of the uh, Fiend of Earth. I know it was Scarmiglion or something like that in the uh, remakes, but yeah, here it's Millen, and I like it that way. Oh, his Dark Sword is meaningless against my undead. Hmm. Unless we have the dark ability, which just slaughters your undead. But hey, whatever you say, Millen. Very interesting indeed. Well, Kane, you should have finished them off when you had the chance. Oh, poor Rosa. She has to watch this. You had your chance, Kane. You blew it. Yeah, go back and watch the woman that you're secretly in love with, Kane. All right, anyway, let's move and groove right along. We get a high potion. That was originally a potion in the uh, game. And here we get a flame rod. So I probably shouldn't have bought that stupid flame rod back in my city. But whatever, that was also originally a potion in the, um, in the original game. Oh, hey, it's Tella! What's going on? Hey, it's been a while, dude. But no worse for wear. Oh, he's here for the spell of Meteo? Really? Shut your mouth! Oh, so they're not really here to assist us, are they? They're here to spy on Cecil. Yeah. Oh. Could have fooled me. Nobody ever once mentioned him in Mysidia, but... Okay. We don't really know. Rydia drowned and Edward... I don't know. Kind of got knocked out on deck. Yeah. Too bad you weren't with us. Gonna kick some ass. 
Man, knock him out. Come on. <laughs> yeah, your magic does kind of suck. Palo and Porum have better magic than you do. Hell, Radio learned better magic than you did. Oh. <laughs> you're too old and you're missing exactly one MP. No matter the price. Hmm. Foreshadowing. Yeah, we can't cast any magic, but we would like to become a paladin. How would these kids know that? Like, Golbez just got put in charge. Like, it looks it's like three days ago he got put in charge of the Red Wings, and now he's the sum of all evil, and everybody knows who he is. Oh, great. Awesome. Yet another mage joining our party. Loverly. Okay, let's see what I want to do. They're all in the back row. Uh, let's see, I want to put Tella, though in the first position, because he has three times as much HP as the other two. Okay, stick them down there, and let's see what we got going on right here. Let's go ahead and give... Oh, he can't equip a buckler. I bought him one just uh, in case he could equip one, but I guess not. Okay, whatever. Uh, we can give him the flame rod. Can he... No, he can't dual equipped rods or anything. That's fine, whatever. Um, no, no headgear. He already has the Gaia gear. I could have bought stuff for him back in Asidia, but... Tell us, fine, he has so much HP, he can defend himself. I'm not too concerned about it. Whoa! Let's see if Dark goes through with these guys. Oh, hey, not half bad, actually. Okay, let's talk about Boast. Boast will increase Palum's magical um, power, so we'll go ahead and try that. Cry will, um, basically it makes the enemies feel bad for you, and they might have a chance of then running away. So, yeah, it's completely useless. Um, but those are some skills that you can use with your, um, with your twins there. Okay, got them down. Um, you could cast Twin Magic, which is ultra-powerful, but it does use, um, both of the twins' turns. So, that's something that you might want to try, but I'm not really a fan of it all that much. Ooh, fire too! I am a fan of fire too. Definitely! That's what we got going on over here. Ooh, the Lilith and the Red Bones. Okay, what I want to do, um, let's go ahead and cure him up. He really needs it. Um, again, fire. Fire is definitely the way to go against all these guys. Let's see how well Fire does against these, against the Lilith, now that I think about it. Oh, not half bad, but we still need another Fire going on. And let's have you just, again, just go after the Lilith, definitely. Uh-oh! Shoist! Well, that's no good. Yeah, I probably should disequip that Blood Sword. Um, hmm, you know what? Let's get a life on Cecil. He will probably die from another physical attack, but if I use a Cure 2 on Cecil, it should be fine. Um, yeah, let's use a Fire 2! And, let's see. Let's get off this Blood Sword. Everything here is undead. This is actually why I took those Hand Axes out, so let's put the Hand Axe on. And now let's go after these guys. No! So much for my Fire 2! Man. Probably should have, uh, yeah, now that Palum's dead, um, can't have him, uh, or you can't use the, um, the twin ability. So it's also at this point in the game that it becomes much, much more difficult. Yeah, the early game, a lot of people were saying, hey, this is kind of easy, you know, with that blood sword and everything, it makes it kind of ridiculous. But as you can see here, it gets pretty... Ridiculous. <laughs> I'll get an ether. Uh, let's see. We're actually kind of low on MP. Let's have you use a cure too. There we go. And move on with life. 
Oh, some more new enemies. Let's use Dark against these guys. Um, you know what? Let's have you use your healing staff on your brother over there. Heal him up a bit and try to conserve a bit of MP as well. And let's have you use Fire. And you, again, Fire. I think two basic fire spells should be enough to hopefully take them out. Aw, oh, I was close. Oh well. Okay, so we're only dealing one damage there because we still have that death... Wow! Because we still have that Deathbringer on. Um, but you know what? If I change out the Deathbringer for the other hand axe that I have, hopefully, then I will be able to deal, yes, damage to these guys. That's what I want to see. Perfect. So yeah, you get this great sword, and you can use it for exactly one time, which is the um, the overworld path from Mesidia to Mount Ordeals. And once you're on Mount Ordeals, you really can't use it, because it's a dark sword, and everything here is dark and will screw you over. What's going on? Something's hissing at us? How odd. Okay, um, here we have a save point which you definitely want to use, and I totally want to use a tent. And it would also really probably be a good idea to save the game, because you never know what is, um, coming up ahead. Yeah, he's not playing any games. This is not the time to uh, play any kind of games or anything like that. Uh-oh. Who's there? Yikes! Oh no, it's Millen from Millen's Secret Castle. I actually played that game a lot when I was a kid. It was a terrible game, but I played it all the time. Yeah, I'm a glutton for punishment, what can I say? Um, let's actually try out the twin magic. See how well that does. Um, let's use a recall. Awesome. Hopefully you recall something halfway decent. See what I mean? Like, that wasn't all that hot, I've gotta say. For that being, um, like their ultimate twin magic, using a whole bunch of, um, MP from both of them and taking up both their turns, it dealt, like, what? A hundred-something damage to all the enemies? Like, give me a break. It's kind of crappy, got to say. Okay, got rid of one of them at least. I hate enemies that just cast Drain all the time. Like, it just takes... Yeah, 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 yeah! Fire 2! That's what I want. It just takes so long. Um, whenever, like, you fight these vampires that just go on and on and on with their Drain and everything. It's just awful. Okay, this guy keeps on... Um, you know what? Actually, let's use a Slum... Yeah, let's cure two. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And Cecil should be able to deal decent damage with his dual hand axes. And you, let's have you... Oh, you don't have slow, that sucks. Okay, so we'll just have you... Well, yeah, we'll use a recall, why not? Um, you keep on going fire two. And you fight doom. Well, that's not gonna work. Come on, Tella. This is a boss fight! You were really expected that to work? Eh, whatever. You. Um, slow. If I had Shell, Shell would be a nice thing to use right now, since all he's really doing is casting Lit on us over and over and over again. But unfortunately, I don't think I have access to Shell. No. Oh, well, got him anyway. Woohoo! Well, we've got one fiend down, but can we become a paladin? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Ultima. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.